You intrude upon the like... sanctity of Mount Hulao. You destroy the amber of my mountain. And you free a thief whose freedom is not yours to give. The thieves' ignorance was an affront to the Adepti. But your actions are an abomination of the highest order. Wait! We can explain! A sigil of permission. One was unaware that such things still exist in the mortal realm. In the beginning, Rex Lapis cast them for the mortals with his own hand. Few were made then, and thousands of years on, fewer still remain. Speak. One shall listen to the matter which brings you here. Then you would be wise to speak the truth. For Liyue is not so far from here that one would be easily deceived. Rex Lapis... assassinated? At the right of dissension? What mortal in Liyue, nay in all the world, would conspire to commit such foul treason? Or perhaps the more pertinent question is... What power in this world could aspire to achieve it? Rex Lapis charged the Adepti with the protection of Liyue, and we have always honored this duty. As the people have prospered, so have we gradually withdrawn into the mountains. Indeed, this was a gesture of goodwill towards humanity. But now, alas, Rex Lapis, gone. Traveler, of the matter you have relayed, one has become aware. One now knows why Moon Carver has sent for us. Once one has dealt with certain matters here that require my attention, one shall convene with the other Adepti. Paimon can! Adepti always have magical powers in storybooks. Seems it's true in real life, too. You know, like how grass is actually Adepti hair, and rivers are actually Adepti saliva. They're Your nonsense knows no bounds. This, the majority of the plant is hidden underground. When stepped on, it produces amber to trap the invader. After taking up residence here, one planted many karst crawlers to ensure that the tranquility of the mountain would remain undisturbed. Oh, so the amber is alive? Correct. Thus, one may not leave this place in its current state, for fear of the risk to innocent lives in one's absence. One will depart as soon as one has attended to this matter. One trusts that the manner of your departure will be swifter in nature. So you want me to go away? Okay. Uh. Okay, so hmm. hey, who put this table here? They've even set it ready for dinner. There's a wine jug and everything. Oh, they even have the guest names carved into the seats. Here sits Retainer. Here sits Guizhong. Here sits Rex. Maybe Rex is short for Rex Lapis. But Paimon has no idea about Guizhong. As for Retainer... Hmm... <gasps> That's it! When Moon Carver was going through the names of his Adepti buddies, he said there was one called Cloud Retainer. So this must be where Cloud Retainer and the other Adepti have their dinner parties. <laughs> How about we cook up some extra special
special dishes for the Adepti. We're sure to get Cloud Retainer's attention that way. But what do Adepti even eat anyway? Huh? Hmm. People must make offerings here all the time. Guess all we can do is look around the area for any leftovers. Maybe that'll give us some ideas. Um, do you think maybe it's at all possible that the Adepti might like to try some sticky honey roast? If it's for you, no. Wine. Okay, let's see. Showing the tray, so. Well, on the map. In the map. On the map, in the map, so. I guess it won't be so difficult after all. Bye. Oh, no. I don't know who I just kill. Wow, the ground is covered in flour. What a messy chef. Hmm, seems there's meat in this pot, but Paimon can't tell which kind. Do you think whoever cooked this made it as an offering to the Adepti? Hmm, Paimon can't quite imagine an offering made of flour and meat. Huh? Our messy chef dropped a piece of paper on the floor. Ew, and there's a huge footprint on it, too. But footprint aside, maybe it has something to do with this mystery dish. So... Ah, okay. Ah, pff, sorry. Okay. Okay, okay, calm down. Hey, 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 calm down. The hell? Go oh boy. Did I learn whatever it was supposed for me to... What they want? Ah, flower. Flower. Okay, I guess it's this guy. See? It may be this guy. Flower and meat. Ah, the flower made the... Oh, well, wait, fuck you. Oh, it made the thingy and then we can eat... Uh, never mind. Sorry. No, I don't. Okay, okay, calm down, calm down. Let's go that way. Oh, oh, freezing. Oh my god, I know how to freeze things. Thanks. God damn, go away. God damn, go away. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah. That's it, right? Now, what's this guy? Someone has definitely cooked here before. Do you think they were making an offering? Looks like they didn't use all the ingredients. Let's see here. We got some snapdragon, some lotus heads, some tofu. Whatever they were cooking, it sounds complicated. Yeah. Hey, look over there. They left some notes too. Yup. It's a doozy. Paimon's not surprised they had to write it all down. It's a lot to remember. We should read it carefully. The first... No, ah. No. Yes. What would you call a dish that's made from Snapdragon? Look. Ah, pff, I always forget. Fire, please. Thank you. This guy, I get. Wait, wait. 
This guy, yes. Nobody? Okay. Perfection! No, <laughs> I'm not eating those. Let's see the other thing. So what will happen when I gonna put the three foot in one place and somebody gonna appear? Well, that is a possibility. Oh, and it's already... Okay. What else do I have around? Nothing? Okay. It's very clean here. Whoever cooked here last obviously likes to keep things neat and tidy. Paima bets they were making an offering to the Adepti. Looks like we got us some Matsutake and some... And what do you know? Matsutake and raw meat, okay. Matsutake and raw meat. This? No, this. There. Now, there we go. Fourth, my play. Even though we didn't need to swing, but okay, now. Okay, never mind. Let's just go. Hmm. One senses the presence of a sigil of permission. One knows not why you have come, though the sincerity of your offering is clear. Hence, you shall be granted an opportunity. Find your way through mine abode, and you shall receive an audience with the Adeptus whom you seek. Look, look at the difference. There. Nice, okay, let's go. Oh, nice. Look, that platform is moving. So that's what this button is for. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Did they say something? Oh, almost, almost, almost. No escape. Don't you like die, please? And the other guy? Die. Fall. Thank you. Don't be scared. Okay, nothing here. So let's get going, but I don't think I need to course the corset because I got a Okay, won't do it yet because I want to see what's up there. 
So let's look at it. Mm hmm. There's no way for you to get up there. Where's a wind current when you need one? Oh, oh, oh. Okay, okay. Gotcha, gotcha. We're still up. I just saw the thing. I'm like, oh, <laughs> so cute, so cute. Okay. Oh, one more, one more. Okay, there we go. And now we can go up there. There we go. Now we're talking, now we're talking. It's because this reminds me of Zelda. That's why I was like, ah, uh -huh. another one, right? One, two, three, four. One, two. two. Got them. Stay, stay one way. Three. And uh, four. There we go. Come on, come on, give me more. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, gotcha. One. My memory is bad, but Zelda helps. <sighs> okay. Stop it. And the middle one. Nice. Okay, okay, that's it, that's it. Hey, hey. Oh. Oh, expensive thing. Ooh. Nice meeting you guys. Thank you. Now it's time for rotated to get that. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm like, can I fly? No, no. I mean, I can, but I cannot, like, it's... Never mind. Let's just do it. That's more like it. There we go. Amber, please do the honors. Of getting there, of course. There we go. Ah, okay. No, no. I want a carrot, I guess. Hmm. Interesting. Do I prepare myself for arrows? Or something? Oh, I think I got it. I think I understand what I need to do. Oh, wait. Middle one. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was going to. Well, never mind. I was going like ca going to calculate and everything like that. And well, middle one is the answer. One is most impressed. 
The path that leads through this abode defies those of ordinary abilities. The one before you is the Adeptus Cloud Retainer. Now speak of the matter which brings you here. You surmise correctly. This place did one self-build, as did one design the mechanisms within. In fact, even Gui Zhang and Rex Lapis themselves found one's technological accomplishments to be worthy of commendation. This place is huge, and there are so many mechanisms! Do you really have this whole place to yourself? What's it even for? Did you build it as your private mechanism workshop or something? It's just like the stories say. The Adepti leave the human world, find somewhere to go be a hermit, and then they research and invent all these amazing things! One is simply not partial to the tedium of social interaction and wished to find some peace and quiet. Find it one did. Shortly after which, you arrived bearing your sigil of permission. But enough. State the matter which brings you here at once. You have disturbed the tranquility of this place for long enough. Sorry. Rex Lapis. Assassinated? How can this be? Such a heinous crime! Who would dare? The notion is so preposterous as to be unbelievable! One shall have to verify the truth of the matter independently. Perhaps one shall quash Liyue first, then convene with the other Adepti. Wait, what? Did you just say squash Liyue Harbor? Are you seriously going to wipe out the whole city? Only a response of sufficient magnitude can negate the possibility of further incidents. It is as you say, but if Rex Lapis has indeed been murdered, then Liu is in great peril. To delay in quashing the threat is to invite further disaster. It is precisely because one does not wish to see further suffering that exceptional measures are deemed necessary at this exceptional time. Yikes! Quick! You gotta think of something! She wants to squash Liu at flat! And it doesn't seem like she's bluffing! Exactly what Paima was gonna say! We made all that delicious food and gave every last bit of it to you! We were hoping you might help Liyue out, not wipe Liyue out. Or at least let's, you know, discuss it first. Can't hurt for you to get a second opinion. Contract? A cruel irony that you should appeal to the notion after the merciless murder of the God of Contracts himself. The people of Liyue seem quite content to dispense with their contracts. They are quite adept at taking that which is composed of black and white and turning it gray. Nevertheless, since you come here in the name of contracts, far be it from one to abandon one's own contractual obligations. Least of all when you come bearing a sigil of permission. <sighs> Rex Lapis infused these sigils with adeptal power when he first cast them. That power once aided humans in battle. Most of the Sigil's power has long since worn off. It is but a keepsake now. This keepsake cannot be taken as proof of your trustworthiness. One must investigate the claims that you make independently. This, no doubt, is Mooncarver's very reason for summoning us. Your audience with the Adeptus before you is now concluded. Leave it once at Okay. So do you want me to go somewhere? You want me you don't want me to not go somewhere? 
Am I like blocked from quest? Oh, I need to be double 26 to... Okay. So guys, thank you so much for watching. It looks like I need to level up my... How about am I? I? I'm not too far away. I mean, kill some bosses again and all that kind of stuff. So yeah. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next one. If you guys want. Yeah.